deceased Opelousa's priest and war hero. Those who knew Father Lafleur say the medal is evidence that he went above and beyond the call of duty. Jameson Crabtree has more. Well, as you see, Father Lafleur is handing out baseball bats and gloves, and back in those days, because it was so depressed uh, economically in this area that they had no equipment to play ball with. And I'm told that Father LaFleur actually pawned his own watch in order to buy bats and gloves and then hand them out uh, to the young people so they could play ball with the uh, proper equipment. Raised in Opelousas, Fergus LaFleur attended Mass daily. He entered the seminary at age 15 and became a priest. He was ordained at St. Landry Catholic Church. Just before America entered World War II, Father LaFleur felt a duty to join the Army as a chaplain. His ship was hit in 1941 by the Japanese. He was the last one off the ship helping the other soldiers abandon ship. He gave up food. He was a prisoner of war. Taken prisoner by the J Japanese. Horrific conditions, as we all know. Caught malaria wouldn't take his medicine, gave it to fellow prisoners of war. For his companionship and for his mentoring to those other POWs and soldiers, he was beaten, he was starved, he was deprived of what we consider basic human needs. Uh, he was still able to love those around him while he was uh, in great suffering, in great want, in great need. 72 years after his death, his book, is still being written. Senator Cassidy has introduced the Senate Companion Bill is apply for a Distinguished Service Cross for Chaplain LeFleur. I personally think he deserves the Congressional Medal of Honor. To know Father LeFleur, to know what he did, to know what he sacrificed, to know how he lived. In, in my book, he is a saint. Now, we'll see down the road, uh, you know, if, if uh, the Pope uh, thinks the same way, but uh, certainly in my book, he's already there. In Opelousas, Jameson Crabtree, KTC TV3. Now, if you wish to learn more about Father LaFleur, a memorial mass will be held in his honor on September 6th.